Hello there guys and gals, welcome to another Goat Simulator 3 guide and this time we are getting it all of the ultimate big boy sausage land in collecting all 200 trinket collectibles which is just so nice isn't it? <laughs> you can't be trudging through the map finding tons of collectibles. Anyway a few things, commentary won't be happening an awful lot since it's just a case of going to the map and finding it the same as me. Now a lot of the times you'll see me going back and forth places but that's because I've gone in the order of the collectibles in the game's menu. So if you happen to miss one, you can easily find it by corresponding the menu and this guide. There's also a few points where we need to have completed an event, which means I'll pop up now and again. Also, I highly advise buying the Celestial Wings for 7,000 monies, whatever that is, and completing all 29 ramps before starting this to get the Daredevil Helmet, basically enabling you to fly everywhere with the hit of the RB button. Other than that, we're going to strap yourselves on, I mean in, and let's go! So, obviously, I'm going to be going in order. We'll have, to, there'll obviously be timestamps as well. So, there's going to be 31 collectibles total in Fair Meadow Ranch. And then there's, like, 8 in Sawmill and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah. Again, I highly advise having the helmet, as you can see. Uh, it's obviously going to enable us to fly everywhere. And buying the Celestial Wings basically uh, enables you to sort of float and glide. So, that's why I highly advise recommending to grab those two. Otherwise, it is, like I said, just a case of, I've obviously put, I'll obviously put the map down as you can see first, just so you know exactly where you are. You have a look, uh, grab the collectible, and on we go, and I will pop up every now and then. Green bums.
Now, annoyingly, as I was going through it, there was two I accidentally collected, and this is the first one. So, you would have come here for the fossil fuel achievement anyway. You can jump up on the big yellow thing right there. And the uh, trinket is right here, just underneath the anal gland there of the oil dinosaur. So, that's where that is. So this is kind of the first instance where the celestial wings would come in handy. And I'll tell you why, as we just head up, we're going to uh, climb up the ladder. We're going to grab one collectible right here, and then we're going to turn around. And then basically, if we had the either a parachute, uh, which you can find in um, some location, or the celestial wings, what you need to do is glide over to the sign directly in front of us right there. Well, as you'll be able to see in just a moment, that is where the... Um, the uh, trinket is, but obviously if we had the celestial wings, what you'd be able to do is spam the A button, that's what uh, how you use the wings, and glide over perfectly, but of course I'm going to have to do this the hard way, and um, yeah, I'm just going to have to kind of right bumper and daredevil helmet it, and yeah, it may take a few tries, but you'll get there eventually if you don't have the wings yet, but again, like I said, I highly recommend, you can buy the celestial wings basically straight off, so that's why I highly recommend it.
just wow. Goodbye, farewell, I'll finish day. Now, for one, this has got to be the greatest sign in the game. Thou shalt not skip leg day. Uh, we've got protein stories. <laughs> we've got bench service and waist service. That is fantastic. Uh, that is genuinely one That is one of my favorite uh, signs, that one. But anyway, for this one, we need to actually finish our first quest in order to get somewhere. And the quest, then, is called Pay Respects here in Broomhill Cemetery. And it's just, all we got to do is find three graves with crosses on them. Well, after well after this one, we'll grab this collectible first. And then we need to find three graves with uh, collectibles on them. Basically, they're just uh, in the graveyard. Um, and as soon as you do, this door will open. And we can uh, climb up to the top and grab the um, grab the collectible. Yes. So, but that's, like I said, all you got to do. Uh, it's a small graveyard, so you shouldn't have any problems in locating them. There's just three with crosses that you gotta find.
Okay, so I do get a bit naughty and cheaty with this. Well, basically, if you complete the, uh, well, where the question mark is right there, the one event, uh, so basically some yellow goo will appear, and you can jump on it to get to this one. Or there is a jetpack in this area, uh, which you can grab, and you can just use the jetpack if you wanted to to fly up. Or if you've got the Daredevil helmet, just get on top of, you know, uh, one of the cliffs or something like that. And um, Or, again, even with the Daredevil helmet, if you press up on the D-pad, um, you'll start flying up with the Daredevil helmet. So if you press up on the D-pad, you'll start going in an upwards direction, so you could just use that to get up here if that's easier for you. But sorry, I did do a bit of cheating there.
So this is the first event that there can be a bit of a pain in the butt snatch. So what you got to do is find these pink boxes, basically 40 of these pink boxes. Now there's going to be 40 basically in the sort of immediate area. They're going to be in rooftops, in containers, in bins, um, in alleyways and everything. So just look absolutely everywhere. But as soon as you collect 40 of these pink boxes, this is uh, how the event completes. The door will open and the um, event, oh, the event, the trinket was right in this little alleyway right here. Uh, but again, just keep checking containers, bins, absolutely everywhere, pools, and you should have no problem finding the rest of them. But it may take a little bit of a while to finish. So, now we have to complete the big red button. Uh, now, what you can do is just kick the scientists out, because they will try and stop you and kick you square in the goat nuggets. Uh, so, all you got to do, uh, I don't think the longitude and the latitude matters. Um, I sort of just pressed them both, went for a... Plus 40 latitude and plus 80 longitude. And, um, yeah. As soon as you hit the big red button, nuke will appear. As you can see, that is uh, an unfortunate nuke. So, yeah, I don't think it matters too much where, um, uh, where you put the latitude and longitude. I do apologize for my urm and ermine. It is very early right here. Uh, but anyway, as soon as that's done, what you can do now is just head a little bit upwards on the map. So... Basically, straight in front of us as we come out of the big launch button. Pop your way over. And as you can see, the nuke has landed perfectly in the middle right here. So all you're going to do is kick the crap out of it to um, basically Fallout 3 yourself. So Fallout 3 yourself, nuke yourself. And of course, you're going to get a whole bunch of bad karma for that. But apparently, happy birthday, Philip. Oh, Philip, he's a zombie mum. Shaun of the Dead? Shaun of the Dead reference? Anyone? Yes? No? Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, that's why we get the Fallout Boy costume. Fantastic. Right, anyway, as soon as you get, stop getting blown up and a fire engine stops being electrocuted and drives in, you will find the trinket right in the middle. There it is.
my new jeans. Are you a nice goat? So another event here we have to complete is the Swedes Assemble. Now basically, in and around the immediate aftermath of this house, there's a bunch of these blue, what's supposedly supposed to be what rhymes with IKEA boxes about. So all you need to do is lick them, grab them to the center of this blue mat, right here in the middle of the bedroom, or the middle of the room, and it will automatically uh, appear. But there's going to be, uh, literally just check the house, in and around the outside there's also going to be a, um, there's also going to be like a little outhouse you can check in as well. So grab all the blue boxes that you find, grab them here, and of course you're going to get the sweet meatball. Use your inhergen. Well, uh, sitting down chair or something. Anyway, once this is done and all these Swedes have popped out, fan fantastic looking Swedes by the way, we are going to jump in. And then when we finally end up loading up, it may take a while for some particular reason, but this is basically what the back of Ikea looks like. If you think you get lost, on the shop floor, you're going to get lost as hell actually out back. In fact, there's still IKEA workers who haven't seen the outside world for six years because they still get lost in the warehouse. So uh, anyway, head through. And then, of course, like I said, now a lot of the times, by the way, I don't use the... I try and show you how to get the collectibles the sort of normal way, just in case you don't have the Celestial Wings or the Daredevil Helmet. But then a lot of the times I end up just using it to make things uh, a lot easier. So that's why I highly advise grabbing it first. But we're going to come to the right side of the room. Make sure to get up as high as you can. Pop yourself over. And you can see there's a bit of gear right here, which you can grab. Or you can just go all the way to the back where the exit is to find the trinket. There she blasts. Again, if you accidentally go out before grabbing the trinket, you can just go back to the Swede's house, grab it again. So in this house then, there are going to be five trinkets that we are going to grab all at one time, which is always nice, isn't it? It is noisy as slicey. So it's in uh, old Peter McNugget Head's uh, open house right here. So we need to go to the right, into the kitchen, uh, push this button, go back left, head up the stairs, and in here is going to be five trophies that we're going to grab. So. That means it's going to go up to, I believe, a fantastic 29. So make sure that you've got 29 out of 32 trinkets collected. And then we're just going to go for the last few here.
join us, Circus. Right then, and this is where the second one, uh, where I accidentally collected it first, but I'll obviously tell you exactly where it is. So, uh, this is where we are on the map then. So, what we need to do is just basically go straight ahead over the river. And the uh, trinket is going to be just, you need to jump for it just by this post right here. So, just where this post is, you need to make a bit of a jump for it. And it's going to be literally just that by this post here. So, again... I already collected it, so that's why you don't see it on screen. Uh, just in case you were wondering if you were one behind or one more than me. So that's why I already collected it.
Right, so now we're starting off in the sawmill, but we're not actually grabbing uh, any of the sawmill collectibles yet, apart from one that I grab on the way. So make sure to grab this one as well, because I won't show it uh, later on. So this is where we start then in the sawmill. We are still going for a Mornwood Falls one. We need to climb up here. So basically climb up the logs, climb up onto the roof. Keep climbing, 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 climbing like a goat ball sack. Climb all the way up, and this is where the one collectible is. So this is the first out of eight sawmills, and then we're going to grind our way up. So remember to grab this one now, because I won't actually show it uh, during the sawmill section. Okay, so during the saw, saw, sawmill segment, I won't show you collecting that because we've already collected it there. So just make sure to grab that one, and as we grind up, make sure to slow down enough to jump into the balloon. And Skablamo, that's 13 out of 19 Morningwood Fall ones.
face. Ow! My skin. And so, welcome to yet another event that we have to complete, and we basically have to break the dam. And, you know, and then you have to be Stan Marsh and say, I broke the dam, and then everyone in South Park goes, no, I broke the dam. It stands like, I literally broke the dam. Anyway, as you start here on the map then, uh, by the uh, Hank, Hanky Panky's Daredevil sign, jump into this cannon, uh, press the right trigger, I believe, to shoot yourself at the Hoofer Dam. And that should automatically explode. Lovely. So that is how you complete the event. And then we can now actually grab the trinket. So you are, you are going to have to uh, do a little bit of flying and uh, make your way back up to where Hoofer Dam is. Right here on the map. So you will actually have to get straight back up there. Or you can obviously press up on the D-pad and just use a daredevil helmet to uh, smooch your way up anyway. Smooch your way up? No, get your way up. Anyway, what we can do then is just head back down into the sort of empty waterness drop down and the trinket is going to be right there for all our delicious eyes to collect
is a choice. Yeah. What is happening? Oh, oh. oh. oh why me?
Right, so for this next one then, if you haven't already, if you haven't done, got into Club Mohair or got that achievement yet, you actually need to go here on the map, into the Lux store, L-U-X store, and grab the suit. Uh, now, if you've already done it, of course, this part doesn't matter, but if you're doing the collectibles first for whatever particular reason, and you haven't got the Club Mohair achievement yet, and that's for basically entering the club, you need to, again, come here downtown, go into this uh, store, grab the suit, and then what you can do is head to this next point on the map, which is exactly where I am right now, so quite close to the last collectible. Again, if you've already got it, um, it, it makes no difference at all. Um, you can, it, The doors will automatically stay open as soon as you do it, but as soon as you've got the suit from the Lux store, go to where I am on the map right now, again, quite close to the last collectible, in the port of Santa Antagonagonagonagonet. And again, if you haven't opened it up already, you'll have to put the suit on, the doors will automatically open up, no matter what ridiculous headwear you're wearing. And then we can head in. So that'll do that. But there are three which we can do. Now, normally, to, fo to solve basically the puzzle, you'd have to follow all the lights and the flags, etc. What you're going to do is follow the lights here. Instead of going right, we're going to go straight in front of us to go past the bean chair. Or what looks like a bean chair. Uh, just keep heading down. Keep heading all the way down. Okay, well, maybe turn right here. You're going to have to go past the boulder, so you're going to have to lick. You're going to have to do some excellent ball licking right there to uh, move that out the way. And if we head down, that is where the first out of three for this particular area is. Uh, again, so you can either headbutt the ball. Please don't headbutt balls, that hurts. Uh, go back past the bean chair. Go left again to start following the lights. Or right, apparently. Uh, head right through the X door right here. Head to the right once again, and you're going to obviously see these two people. Now, again, normally to finish the puzzle, you go left, but we're going to go straight in front of us to pass the woke sign to the right. And if we just keep heading down, head but the hell out of the fence, and the next collectible is behind these boxes. So, you can do some foxy boxing, glad boxing. Not some YouTube boxing, though, because that shit's embarrassing. Yes, isn't it, Paul Brothers? Yeah, what a bunch of embarrassing douchebags. Right, anyway, uh, when we've done that, we can come back here to where L people are standing. Now, we can basically head straight for the end. So, follow the flags and follow the music, apparently, as well. Because it's going to get you... If this doesn't make you want to go out right now clubbing, I don't know what will. Probably anyone over their 30s, actually. As soon as you hit 30s, you're like, Ugh. The thought of going out is disgusting, isn't it? Right, so anyway, we're going to climb up to the right here. And the last one in this area is just going to be this disco ball. So, make a jump for it. Kablamo Marge, all done.
things. My brother was a goat. His name was Billy. Right, so we're going to have to do one more event to grab this collectible, and then after this you don't have to do any more events. So, this is called Hobo the Grease, so we need to go down into this, uh, the homeless shelter area. 
Now, obviously, if you can, just try and avoid We need to basically pick up these two bin bags right here. So, avoid doing what I do just there and smashing both bin bags out of the way, which is just stupidly annoying. Turn back around. If you manage to hit them, turn back around anyway. And the two bin bags will be here. So, we need to go up these sort of stairs right here to the homeless looking guy. I mean, it's all homeless. Um, everyone's homeless right here. And it'll automatically put it on. So, make sure to gra uh, grab both of the bin bags, wherever they may be. There should always be two about anyway. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish the event. So, there should always be two about. Grab that one. And then if we drop, drop back down, we're going to grab... Just next to this tent right here is a cardboard box. So, we're going to make our way back up. Open that one. Or pop that one in. And he's going to start doing some, you know, some incredible hobo magic Gandalf the Grey stuff. Hobo the Grey. Fantastic. So, to get the trinket, what we need to do is go in here... Basically gives us some wings. So, like the celestial wings, they are basically the same thing. So you spam the A button again to use these ones, just in case you uh, this is the first time that you've got wings. You need to spam the A button to use them. So we're gonna climb up. So heading to the left, and uh, when we drop onto these two containers here, you're gonna see an open container. This is where the next trinket is. So simply drop down, drop in, and grab that one. And to finish, to get out of here, you need to get into the big hobo's hand. And that'll be that one. I was gold once. What is that? Get out of my sight.
And for the final one then, finally, it does seem like it's been quite a while, hasn't it? But yes, we have finally hit it then, all 200 out of 200. So what we're going to do then, start off once again by the Statue of Libertarians butt crack right there. Head to the right and climb down these, uh, just jump off the cliff. And this is where the final one is then. And you will finally get, uh, you'll also have the ability now by pressing the right bumper to just poop everywhere. So that's always fun. That's a hell of a gift, by the way. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Again, I really hope you've been enjoy enjoying the game so far. I really, really do hope that the guides and this collectible guide has helped. Which, again, if it has, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Again, as always, a big, massive shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals, oh, the absolute legends. Legends, the real MVPs. So thank you so much, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.